everybody welcome back to sticks and stones wood carving uh, I was walking around in the woods one of my usual hikes and I found this neat little piece of wood by the creek and looking at it uh, it comes up here and it's kind of cascades down it's almost looks like a Santa face in here with uh, the hat going up so I'm thinking about cleaning it off seeing old carb it's very very thin uh, down here on the bottom it's like only like a sixteenth of an inch so there's not much to carve but it gets a little thicker up in here I don't know how much wood it's all hollow in the back I'll show you when I take it out of the vise but I'm going to try and clean it off and see if we can actually get a face in here and this would make a neat little Santa hanging I think uh, when it's all done so let's give it a shot let's see what it does I'm going to get the sander here and I'm going to try to clean this off see you can already see the face starting to form in here uh, where we put the hat and everything <clears throat> so I think uh, we might be able to I don't know if I can get a camera angle on that that you guys can actually see if I carve it we'll see if you can see the if I blow it up yeah, you might be able to see the face in there when I start carving, let's see what happens. Hoping I can stay out of the way when I do this and you can see. I'm just going to not do any drawings. I'm just going to try and kind of shape a hat and see if I can keep it in the camera and you guys can see what I'm doing. Got our favorite little flame bit in the Fordham. Yeah, that ought to form a hat. And I gotta remember, there's not too much wood. I can't go too deep, and I just gotta depend on painting. So I'm hoping I can get some eyes in here without going too deep and a little bit of a nose, and then just use the rest for beard. And I'm drawing a little Santa face here, and I uh, wasn't sure if it was gonna show up in the camera. So I'm darkening everything up so you guys can see. I'm just making a simple one but it should be enough to give me an idea of about what he'll look like. And we'll just take all this and make it beard. I think we'll really suck the cheeks in on the side here. Give him a little bit better look. I don't know if we can get this to be a carving or not. I can't go too deep because it'll poke right through the back of that wood. So I'm gonna be real careful and just take off very little. You guys see that okay? Good, let's see what we can do. All right, I'm gonna use the same thing. We're gonna get the flame bit, try and sound the camera and see if we can get these details in.
They got a little something going on there. I don't know how much of that I can carve anymore. Uh, I'm going to try and get some type of eyes in there, but I really don't have that much wood, guys. It's probably going to poke through like the mouth. But never waste a piece of neat looking wood. So we're going to try and do something with this puppy. Maybe I can zoom in. Sometimes just giving them lines in the eyes actually helps instead of trying to get too fancy. But let's see if we have enough wood back there. Ooh, boy, that's very thin. Oh, we get a little bit and see. Well, here we go. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I do, and we're going to attempt not to poke holes in him. Very small, tiny cylinder bit. I'm going to poke through over on this side. I'm going to make it even. Huh, this side doesn't want to put through. That's okay. I'm going to make this a pierced carbon lady. That's what we could do. We're just going to let it poke through where it does, and when we paint it, we'll have some pierce. If I do that in the beard here, it should look very cool. Just gonna have to use those to our advantage for this piece. Now I'm gonna poke through on purpose and make it a pierced carbon. Just, I'm just going to give him slits for eyes and he'll look okay when we paint him. And the beard I'm going to have to pierce through so that we get that effect all over since it broke through in a couple spots. And I just broke my bed. 
There's the bitch broke that one. This bit's a lot longer and a lot more aggressive. A lot tougher. Maybe too tough. I can't really see that side from here. Okay, I'm really bending that Fordham and my bit's getting hot. So. This right here is where we got. We got some lines that pierce all the way through. And we just gave them some slits for eyes. We'll sand them down. We could do this as his hat. We'll put some color on them and see if we can salvage. Uh, well, that just made it look even cooler. <laughs> some of this stuff, like I said, it's just going to break off. It's so thin. But you can see how thin that is. All right. So we're just going to blow it off, sand it up, and see if we can 
paint them and still end up with something even though it gave us all that trouble and it's so thin. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, what I did was I took uh, the Dremel with just the wire brush and I went around and I cleaned up in between a lot of these where there's little pieces of wood and stuff and pretty much sanded them down with this and the rest I'm just going to kind of cover up with paint and we'll see what uh, we can end up with here now. Once we take them out of the vise, we'll see what it looks like. And I think we can get something out of that. Okay. Can I zoom out here? See this Santa right here has this big old <laughs> hat going up. And we'll get him so he hangs on the wall and he'll kind of be... I have to turn him that way to fit him in the view right now. But it'll be a neat little wood spirit Santa Claus. Alright, let's put some paint on him. Okay, I'm gonna put some paint on this little Santa here and see uh, how it comes out. I'm gonna probably take my knife after this and... I should pierce through here, Martin. Man, maybe I shouldn't use my knife. I should probably use the Dremel. I want to pierce the beard more, but I'm just going to paint it the way it is, and if I don't like it, I'll pierce the beard after and uh, just carve right through it. But I want to get this project done. So I think... Actually, I should have darkened this. That's a little bit light, but... Yeah, the first coat. What I did was I wood burned them before painting them, and that'll clean them up a little bit, and then you'll really be able to see the detail in the eyes and everything, and all the little wrinkles I put in them when I, he's finished. But right now I'm just going to try and get the face, get a fresh base coat on. Okay, and this right here is kind of what I'm going for. He's just going to have uh, slits for eyes. <clears throat> and I'm not really going to make him real fancy with a paint job or anything. But uh, just a little bit of color here and there. I'll probably blush his cheeks more. i got to clean his face up and stuff and put some shading in here. But that's uh, pretty much what I'm going to end up with. All right. But still, it's a nice little trinket. Nice little something to do that otherwise he just would have been sitting in the woods you see that okay i'm trying to i guess you turn the light down here not if you can really see him with the shine there you go okay so that's going to be the end of this project and you guys can paint them any way you want. I'm not really going to go too crazy with the painting t tutorial right now. But uh, this is what we got out of that piece of wood that was just... <laughs> pretty much that's what it looks like on the back. It was all hollowed out through here from just natural happenings in the woods. You know, water and critters, whatever. However he ended up like that. But now he's a Santa Claus and he can get mounted on somebody's wall and... stick around for the holidays you know somebody will buy them some santa collector okay that's going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you check it out look for me when i go live come talk to me say hello i'm kevin from sticks and stones i will see you in the next video bye bye now